Hello everyone and welcome back to the vlog. Uh, if you're new here, my name is Katherine Fisher. I'm a singer-songwriter and uh, I make vlogs about my life and oh, I was hoping touring, but not touring right now. Um, you can go back to 2019 and see some tour vlogs if you want. Uh, but right now it's just adventuring around Ontario and what it's like to be an unemployed musician at this time and all the feelings that come along with that and um, mental health is tied into that and uh, self-care and wellness and all of those things that just go into being a human and it being hard. So today I'm going on an adventure and it's cold. It, we had 20 degrees um, for the last like a week or so. It's been pretty much 20 degrees and now it's zero. Uh, stopped at the Great Canadian Bagel to get a bagel because, you know, it's important. And I got a um, chocolate chip bagel with butter. Uh, we're going to head out to a conservation area. Uh, hopefully see a waterfall. That's what the Google tells me. It's all fun and games until I get to the conservation area and it's raining. It's raining! I am unimpressed! Okay, but actually, um, I don't have a hood. That's the only thing. If I was smart, I would have worn a rain jacket instead of my vest, and I would have thought this through, but I didn't. So, I think I'm going to just suck it up and go. Welcome to Rockland Conservation Area here in Lambton Shores, Ontario. I am super excited to be exploring here today. It is best known for its waterfall, which to be honest, I didn't know we had waterfalls like this in Southern Ontario outside of the Hamilton area. Sorry, I got interrupted by other people using the trail, which is awesome, but you wanna make sure that you're sharing the trail with other trail users. Uh, so it is most well known for its waterfall, but there's actually quite a bit of trails and boardwalks here. so. There is one that goes all the way down to the riverbed and there's lots of little lookouts and like places to sit, which is really nice. I'm sitting on one as we speak. Cute little bench. Um, the Conservation Authority and all of the organizations that uh, take care of this area definitely do a good job of it. So I'm gonna go down to the riverbed and see what else that this area has to um, has to offer. I've never been here. I didn't even know it existed. So the sun has been peeking out too, which is great. Uh, there's other people on the trail. So definitely making sure that I share the trail whenever you're exploring, make sure you are sharing the trail and socially distancing as well. And yeah, let's go and see what this little boardwalk walk down has to offer.
it's good to note that they do have picnic facilities in the normal times. They have a bunch of picnic tables over here and a big green space with pit toilets, it looks like. Um, and you can access this, I think, a little bit easier if you go the other way around. And you don't have to walk up and down the stairs. What I most definitely did not expect to see right over here was uh, farmer's fields, which is very shocking to me. I did not expect to see farmer's fields right on the edge of the conservation area. So it just goes to show you these places can be super hidden right in the middle, uh, like just off of roads that you drive every day. So you got to go out and explore and find places close to you um, to get out in nature. Hello all. She is back in the van. Glad to be here. Uh, a couple things. Um, first of all, if you are hiking on a trail, this could be a little bit of a rant. If you are hiking on a trail, you need to practice. Leave no trace method. Do not leave your garbage. Don't leave toilet paper on the trail. That's disgusting. Look up leave no trace method and read into that. There's podcasts on it if you're more of an audio person, but follow those things. No one wants to see your trash. No one wants to see your toilet paper. Pick up after your dogs. All of those things. People have brought pizza and they're walking by my car. They're walking by my car and I hope they don't look at me so I'm not going to look at them. But people brought pizza. Like they have, they know what's up. I honestly think that I'm going to end off the vlog here. I like was writing an Instagram post today and I was like I wanted to be like oh your favorite like internet overshare which is me but I just I like sharing this experience of feeling so stuck and feeling bored and trying to find like good exciting things to do um while still being safe because I feel like everyone is going through that it's more just like being human and feeling stuck in life and your mid-20s are weird to begin with like everyone's at totally different paces once you graduate and like some people are buying houses and some people are getting married and like I'm turning 25 this year which is like for me officially the age where it's like not weird if someone gets like married like in the last year I know probably like 15 to 20 people who've gotten engaged um and for me, I've been single for a while now and that's fine and I'm very happy as I am, but I do have a lot of comparison and sometimes I wonder if I'm doing something wrong because I am so happy and my career, when, especially when I can tour, like my career feeds my soul so much um, and I don't, wasn't like, didn't feel any emptiness and then being like just kind of bored I think it makes you overthink everything and makes you just question yourself and that can be very toxic so I'm here to let you know you're not alone if you're doing that uh, but also try to show you ways that you can kind of break out of that cycle and um, at least distract yourself a little bit so maybe you have an SUV that you want to make like a cool little hangout spot in maybe you have a nature place near you or um, a craft or a hobby or a book club that you want to do like uh, anything that can give you something to grasp onto and something to make you feel like there's movement in your life um, I think that's the most important part so I'm gonna end the vlog there uh, I hope it makes you feel a little less alone um, this is just my human experience and what I'm going through so make sure to subscribe uh, and follow me on Instagram. That's where I'm most active, like most people, at Catherine F. Music. Um, and you can like me on Facebook too. That's where shows get posted once shows are back. And yeah, I hope you have a wonderful day or night whenever you're watching this and stay tuned for more. Bye y'all.